With an eye on public health and preserving one of Irving's most loved traditions, the annual 4th of July celebration is going virtual in 2020. And Amy Kincaid with the special events team joins me in the studio with the details. So can I start with how glad I am to see you? I know, it's so good to see you and be yeah. back here. <laughs> yes, and we are properly socially distanced yes, here. Yes, correct. Got six feet, so we're good. <laughs> and that really is one of the most important things when the, uh, in, that came into consideration when you guys were making the decision. Correct. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. I, we just felt like there was no way possible to keep um, safety first with the public and the community when we were looking at ideas and if this event could be uh, take place this year. Um, so definitely the safety of the public came first in our decision making and felt like it might be a better opportunity to maybe celebrate Irving a little bit down the road when we can get back together have the fireworks show and a concert and just bring the community back together when it's most important and safe for all. Yeah, absolutely, and that completely makes sense to me. So uh, you guys had to get real creative. Fortunately, that's, uh, <laughs> that's y'all's superpower over that there. Is. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got some fun ways that people can still participate. Tell me about them. We do. We wanted to find a way to still bring the community together. Um, in today's world, it's virtual. Um, so what we would love to do is get the community to send in pictures of past events, uh, past parades, past firework shows, anything that they've done to celebrate in Irving. Uh, there's several ways that they can send in photos. They can uh, tag them with hashtag Irving July 4 um, to all social media and we'll pull those um, or they can also send it to recinfo at cityofirving.org. Um, so what we're planning on doing is all the uh, pictures that we get back, we're gonna do a virtual parade uh, that we'll put on so social media so everyone can see the virtual parade. Okay, so it's r truly the next best thing to it be is. in there. Yes. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and um, when they send those uh, pictures and such in, they become eligible for something really fun. And I dare you to say it again, <laughs> right? Really fast. <laughs> um, so if p the families send in a photo they will be able to come and pick up a free family fun four pa fourth pack. See, I messed it up myself. <laughs> um, it's a mouthful, but what is. a great idea. So in this bag will be uh, patriotic items that you know the families will be able to have fun on the fourth. We felt it was important to give something back to the community uh, when we aren't able to socially gather. Yeah, it is. It's a lovely idea, and it's a great encouragement to you know pull out those family photos, scan them in if you need to, or pull them off the. I'm the only one who still prints photos, <laughs> you know, and and send them over so that people can can feel like that community spirit that we all look so forward to at the 4th of July, it's still there. It is, yeah. and we, the fun thing is we've gone back into archives and we have pictures dating back from the 1970s that will be highlighted in this as well. So just kind of a fun way to look at where we came and where we are uh, today, and we've already been receiving photos, so it's just kind of fun to see how important uh, Independence Day has been to Irving in the past. So it's kind of a fun way to celebrate. That's right. So folks, remember that hashtag. Send it. The hashtag for sending in pictures is hashtag Irving July Four. All righty, wonderful. Now. You're also thinking of maybe doing something where there, there can be some togetherness. Tell us about the virtual viewing party. So since we can't throw a big party for everyone, we're looking at uh, doing a virtual watch party. I'm near the Texas Music Factory in the uh, Texas Lottery Plaza. So looking forward to that. You can go to the website to find out more information, uh, but just looking forward to possibly find a way to bring people and allow them to watch it virtually together live. I think that's great. So since you've been saying this virtual thing, I now get to announce that ICTN is a big, a big part Huge of this part. and we're so excited about it. We're going to have some wonderful things, lots of surprises and uh, a, a section that we're calling Blasts from the Past. And I bet you guys can guess what that's gonna be. So you'll be able to see that virtual 4th of July that we're gonna be doing on obviously um, our cable channels, but they're also gonna be on YouTube YouTube and at the website. So we're excited to, to be yeah, a part of this big excited. celebration as well. So thanks so much for being here today. Yes, and um, we are so looking forward to this, folks. Y'all know when the 4th of July is. That's a real easy one. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for all the details.